Okay guys, this is Melbourne Beach, Florida. We are beachside, right next to the Atlantic Ocean. If we made a right, we'd be right at the beach. I'll make that right for you. Uh, this is called Indy, Indian Atlantic uh, area. Uh, it's right um, It's right next to Satellite Beach. Uh, over the horizon here where this car is stopped, this car is from Texas, this is the Atlantic Ocean. This is the central east coast of Florida. So it's not really in the Caribbean zone. Uh, the ocean is nice, but it's not that real South Florida ocean ocean. Uh, still nice though. And if you go a little further south, you start to get that teal uh, Caribbean vibe. But let's go back on Highway A1A and we'll head north, give you perspective. And about 15 minutes up the road would be uh, an Air Force Base on Satellite Beach. They call it Space Force now. And there's a bunch of free beach parks that you can park for free. There's no charge to park. So you can access the beach during the day. Uh, there's bikinis to the left. So that's always inspiring. And uh, they have Publix and uh, Starbucks and the gym right here on Oceanside. And so you have everything you want to spend a day uh, if you didn't live on the beach. Because, of course, these condos uh, on the beach here and these houses will... <clears throat> well, you, you may be able to get a cheap condo for a couple, thousand, couple hundred thousand dollars. Um, but the average price here would probably be half a million um, and up. And it's a pretty well-developed area now, the coast, uh, with Space Force... Uh, SpaceX about 40 minutes or a half hour north uh, again if you went inland Melbourne has a lot of defense contractors um, so that's the economy here is um, defense spending with the defense contractors um, uh, the Air Force Base SpaceX Cape Canaveral which has all the cruise ships all that's within kind of like a half hour and of course, where all you have all that money, you have people living, then you have hospitals, then you have car mechanics, and then you just have everything a regular society would have. So it's a little cloudy, and again, in this part of Florida, central Florida, yeah, clouds hang over a little bit more than southern Florida. But we're in the height of the summer, so it's, it's tough to tell that. Uh, so would I recommend this area? Well, I've done videos from here before. I think it's a solid area. Uh, I prefer to be a little bit more north, but there's a lot of things going for it. Um, when you go inland, uh, there's some good and bad areas. Um, but it, it has become very developed, I'll say that. Uh, like most of Florida, like most towns by the coast, by the beach, they've become very developed. Um, but I, I would say still, there's a level of affordability in this area. Uh, mostly, people who buy the bigger homes are seasonal. Uh, but there is more of a community culture uh, all year round in in these areas, Satellite Beach, uh, Melbourne Beach, because it's more it's more of an all year round community, and that kind of forms a solid community rather than just snowbirds. Of course you get your tourists, of course you have your snowbirds, but in areas like this, when you get more and more north in Florida, and you get like away from Miami and stuff like you know, then you get more and more community because there's less and less uh, seasonal residents. Um, there's still a lot of seasonal residents, but there's less and there's more full-time residents. And that's what kind of forms a community culture. You know? But I wanted to give you a taste. Uh, you know, it's not much to see visual. There's not a lot of visual stimulus to look at when you're driving here, especially on a little bit of a cloudy day. Uh, but you do have uh, the beach parks. You do have the beach. Uh, you do have the Nomads. You do have the stores. Uh, you do have the bikinis. Um, you do have a level of affordability. And that's Melbourne Beach, Satellite Beach, Cocoa Beach. Uh, Cape Canaveral, that general area, uh, which there's construction to the left. It, it's getting developed, I would say, to the point of overdevelopment. But, you know, again, any area by the coast, that's going to happen. Uh, more and more people are going to have to go west 
and go inland. And that's where all the new developments will continue to be. See, they're refacing one of these buildings and then they're building a brand new, I think that's gonna be a hotel there, concrete block hotel, I think. But it could be a condominium unit, I'm not sure. But any area where you have beach view is always gonna be prime real estate, no matter what. And uh, those are just some thoughts. But uh, I looked at this area when I was first thinking about moving to Florida. I looked at the satellite beach area. And I almost bought a property. And uh, if I would have bought it, I don't know what that was. I looked at that during the crash, like 2009, 2010. You know, if I would have bought it, it would have, you know, made four times the amount of money if I would have sold it today. So, you know, just remember that's real estate. You know, real estate is if you buy and you hold it for 10 years or more, then you tend to have a better shot at making money on it. But if you buy a property and you really don't like it and you wanna do something else, you know, life is about taking a loss here and there. Why? Because remember, you know, life is like a seven game series. You know, you don't have to win every game. Uh, you're just trying to win the best out of seven. That's how you gotta look at life. You know, life, you take losses, okay? But one is you gotta get back up, why? You suffer more when you stay down. Two is, you know, you just got to learn to deal with it because it's life. You're not going to win at everything you do every time. So that's kind of what, what I would tell you. Uh, will you? But I remember when I was looking at Satellite Beach, I remember the loan officer, I remember her telling me, I was like, well, what do you think about Satellite Beach? I think she lived in in uh, Dover, Florida. Uh, no, not Dover. She lived somewhere inland. And um, she goes, well, I know Satellite Beach. She goes, I tell you, you're not gonna lose buying property in Satellite Beach. And at that time too, it was cheap. So, uh, you know, there are certain areas, and I think too, because that has a good school system, it, it has the Air Force Base right there, so it has some good economics. Uh, but I remember her saying that, and she was right. But, you know, you gotta be ready. You know, you can beat yourself up, you gotta be ready. Plus, <clears throat> I do prefer to be a little bit further south, so. Either way, I hope you enjoy these videos. Subscribe if you're not. I'm Inspirational Nomad. Share the video. Click the thumbs up. Click the join button. Click the super thanks. Thank you to everyone out there. See you in the next video.